Hey y'all, hey, Eric and Jason, we're back to check in on the week two's progress and let you know what our plans are for week three. Let's chat. What? Do you want to be in the video? Hello. <laughs> this dog, y'all. Every time we have to video, and it's, you know, we video things on a regular, or film, I guess. We film things on a regular basis around here, but the dog, every time. I don't think it's called film anymore. What do I call it? I don't know. Record? I don't know. I, often I say video, but then I'm like, no, that's not right. No, it, it's video. It's not a video cassette anymore. Yeah, but it's still a video. Okay, so it's not <laughs> filming? No, because like film, it uses the old fashioned film, you know? Like, remember how we used to have like cameras or you take snapshots? Like yeah. video film used to be that too. My goodness, dog. It's all digital video now. Okay, well. Oh my gosh, Hazel. Hazel. Seriously. Y'all, this dog, <laughs> she is something else. Come here. Say hello. Say, I keep trying to interrupt, so I'm gonna jump up and say hi real quick. I'm gonna say hi. Yes, yes. Okay, go find a kid to play with. You've already eaten twice today, dog. Oh my goodness, y'all. All right, so we are going, we just finished week two yesterday, so. <laughs> we just finished week two yesterday, so what was your weigh in yesterday? Mm, 208.2. So, didn't really lose anything no. this week. No. I think part of my problem is I'm so sedentary right now. You mm -hmm. know? I really do because well, at school I'm at least walking around moving. I think when I did keto at first, I tracked religiously. I wrote down everything that I ate in my tracker. I weighed things. I knew exactly how many carbs I was getting. Jason wants to do more of a lazy keto, which in the past has been completely fine for him where he can just eat keto things and still lose weight. But I think because he's not being very active maybe, coupled with the fact that because he's not being very active, he's feeling more snacky. So I think he's probably eating keto things. No, I know he's eating all keto things. He's not been cheating, but I feel like the total carbs have probably added up because halfway through the week we checked his ketones and it was low. It wasn't registering at all. It was registering LO for low. So I really think that you're probably eating yeah. too much of the keto things because they still have carbs and they add up. Right. So I think you're going to maybe need to be more diligent about how many times a day you're eating. So just like eat more a couple times a day instead of eating a little yeah. bit throughout the day. I think that's really messing with you, especially because if y'all don't know this, we had mentioned it in previous weeks. In general, Jason at work, he's a teacher, he doesn't eat during the day. He drinks coffee, just black coffee all day. Then he comes home and has a decent sized meal around four and then he goes and works at soccer practice or coaching and then comes home and eats another good sized meal at like eight or nine o'clock at night and that's all. Where right now you're eating throughout the day right. and your body's not used to that. Right, and I'm usually, like during the week, I'm usually asleep by like 10.30. We're now right. about 12, so you're not up wanting to snack. Wanting to snack, absolutely. So, so uh, yeah, I think that's the issue. I think that's what we're going to need to tackle this week is maybe committing to only eating two yeah. meals a day, and they can be large meals, but only two. And I'm hoping now that I'm back at school, like, you know, because last week was spring break, so I literally did. Right, he didn't have to Nothing. work at all I last week. I binged two full series last week. Yeah, last so, week was a super lazy that week. That didn't help. <laughs> but like, I'm already back at school and all I've done is coffee, so I'm... Yeah, I'm, you're more into your routine because right. he's it's online school. When he says back at school, y'all, everybody knows what's going on right now. So he's teaching online school. So from home on the computer obviously he's here with me right now but he's actually t teaching classes online for the first time where his district was kind of behind the eight ball and the week before spring break they were still telling them to just like review basically right yeah. so you weren't really teaching right but now i have like now you have a schedule a schedule so that's good. i've really been working since 8 30 you know I, I really put in a full day of work today so 
it's it's helped. I've drank the three cups of coffee or whatever, and I, I think that schedule is going to kind of continue. Um, I would like to figure out a way to be more active, though. Like, well, I just, you should go out for a run or go for a walk, outside. and then you hate working out. I need like a, a thirty minute workout video I can do. You could do that room. on YouTube yeah, easily. I think I need somebody like that. YouTube's somebody give us a recommendation of a good. You could like, do like a kickboxing thirty class minutes. Or something yeah, something on like that. Like YouTube. there used to be like Billy Blade or whatever his there name. There are all was. kinds of like, stuff like that on YouTube. Somebody recommend us something good on yeah. that. Seriously. What do y'all use on YouTube Seriously. to work out? I know a lot of my friends use yoga with Adrian. Like but 30 minutes, no equipment needed type of thing is what I'm looking for. And there's so many, like I've looked at them, but there's so many, like which one do you choose? Yeah. You know, so give I us know. some suggestions. On another note, have y'all tried this TikTok coffee, this instant whipped coffee contraption? It is so good. The first time I made it, it was way too strong for me, but now I am making it with either almond milk or cashew milk in the bottom. And I add my collagen to that. So I add my perfect keto collagen, whip it up, or not whip it up, stir it up, add some ice. And then the topper, I do one and a half tablespoons of the instant coffee instead of two. And then one and a half tablespoons of a monk fruit allulose sweetener from High Key is what I've been using lately. And then I also do a, one dropper full, so probably like 10 drops of stevia. And add a little pinch of salt which I always do in my coffee and then whip that baby up with the same amount of hot water you do so it's like a one to one to one so you do the same amount of hot water you whip it up like crazy I've been using my little handheld whisk and it works just fine it takes like four or five minutes and then you have this delicious coffee but I just also heard on Instagram or YouTube I don't know I heard somewhere that this is actually supposed to be two servings. When you do two tablespoons, one tablespoon is supposed to be a serving and two tablespoons is like six cups of coffee. So if you need to be majorly caffeinated, which I really don't, but this is really yummy. I don't read the label on that. I don't know about that. You don't think it's that much coffee? I don't know. People are talking about how it's making them way jittery and then they looked into it and then it's really actually two huh. tablespoons of instant is six cups of regular coffee caffeine wise. Wow. I don't know. That I don't might, know I mean, if that's yeah, true or not, not. But it seems like, well, yeah, I guess because the tablespoon is pretty big. Yeah. So what's been going on this yeah. week? It's hard to like sit down and chat about what's going on when literally Nothing. we haven't left the house. We didn't go to the group. I went to the store once. I went on Friday. I went out and did some Oh, errands. you got butter. That's all you got this week was butter. Yeah. We needed butter, but yeah. that was it. So there was like no grocery haul. Uh, we didn't even get out on the lake. We get I, I it's literally, been cold. yeah, it got a little chilly. Tomorrow's supposed to be 75 though, so I'm Still hoping cold. maybe I'm hoping maybe like we could go out just like to get some sun. We could cuts wear around. sweatshirts yeah. and cuts around. <laughs> Cause 75 full sun should fill pretty it, good right 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 i mean you won't want to get in the water mm -hmm. but we could still putz around i literally haven't been out of the house in i guess around since two the weeks we the since the last time i was on the boat we're trying to be really careful with me with all of my health issues that put me at high risk and i'm an introvert anyways i don't mind being in like on a regular a regular non-pandemic life i don't leave the house a whole lot but when you are told that you can't like it does something psychologically. No, it does. It does. It's a psychological it thing, y'all, because I am my happiest when I am in the house and my entire family is underfoot. Everybody's here. Summertime is my time, y'all, because everybody's underfoot. And that's what I have right now, but it's psychologically it's different because I know it's mandated. I know we have to do this. I know there's high risk to my health if I leave the house and so I want to do all the things. I want to go to TJ Maxx and shop for things I don't need. Go Target. Right. Right. I was thinking about that last week. Like I went to the auto parts store to pick something up and I was like, it was like my first time out of the house. And I was thinking, sitting there thinking, this is exactly what we want. We want to like live on an island and leave the house one time all week. <laughs> Except right. we wanted to be on an island. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's kind of like our goal is to like... just hang around the house and have fun with each other and never have to leave other than playing on the ocean or the lake. But 
psychologically it feels it's, it, just it does. different it right now. It's and different. Emotions are all over the place and some days I'm completely content and happy and some days I'm an anxious mess. And I feel like my anxiety levels have majorly been messing with my health. My fibromyalgia can definitely be triggered a little bit when I'm having anxiety and it's very triggered when I don't sleep and I'm not sleeping. Like literally it's two o'clock and it's 2.45 and I've been up for 45 minutes, y'all. Like I got up at two o'clock today because I didn't sleep all night long. And so my circadian rhythms are completely messed up and that 100% affects my health. I know it's got a 100% affect my weight loss as well. I did really well this week with eating perfectly keto where the previous weeks I was not eating perfectly keto. I ate completely keto this week, but I said I was gonna enter in it fast and I did not. I totally ate late at night. Um, I did end up losing a couple pounds. I had gotten up to one pound over my maintenance level. I got up to 174 and I got back down to 171 this week. I had also said I wasn't going to have any alcohol, which I didn't all week until this weekend. I did have some white, some white wine this weekend, but I went all week without having any by choice. I had planned that and I think take, pulling that away is probably and going completely keto again is probably what made me go ahead and lose a couple pounds there but I did not do well with the intermittent fasting. I always say I wanna do it, and in theory, I think it would be really good for my body. Not even in theory, I know it would be good for my body to have a cut off and not eat late into the night, but I just don't seem to be able to do that well, y'all. That is my biggest struggle, and I've still lost over 100 pounds with that, but I feel like I could do better. I feel like I could kick my last 20 pounds away if I could intermittent fast. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe that isn't my, I don't know. I mean, I feel like my body's very happy where I am. It's very, very easy for me to hold steady here, even when I mess up, or I don't wanna say mess up, because I've consciously chose over the last few weeks to eat other things. It wasn't me cheating. I don't like that connotation. I feel like that's super negative. I was making a conscious choice to go ahead and eat the biscuit that Caroline made or some of the noodles that Caroline made from scratch. But even with doing all of that and changing my diet up, it doesn't seem to make me gain weight. I seem to be really happy. My body seems happy where I am. But with my health issues, my body does not like when I go off plan. When I get out of ketosis or start eating things that are not fully good for me, I have more anxiety, I have more pain, my inflammation levels go up and all of my issues rear their ugly heads and make me realize that I'm doing keto for life. I'm not doing keto for weight loss personally. I'm doing keto because it makes my life livable and not it makes me not have to live in the bed more than I don't, which I did for a good portion of my life. So that's kind of what I've learned this week is that what I eat is really important completely aside from weight loss. And I already knew that, but in the mess of all of this, I'd kind of forgotten that. Do you yeah. think that's true for me? Have you yeah. noticed that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and it's just, it's all about the schedules and the patterns and keeping everything. Because like when you were talking about earlier, um, about not sleeping, like the couple that, remember that week we were all on the lake like two times, you were in bed like, 10 30. Yeah. like you were asleep every night i used energy and so right. i was tired and so I, I just feel like we're all just like in this like stay at home rut and you gotta be you gotta be conscious of it i really yeah. do i think you do i mean there's nothing you can we, we can't do anything like about having to stay at home but yeah but i, I, I mean, think you have to be aware of what's going on with your body maybe and your we mind need to figure and, out ways to be more active yeah i do and I'm, you know, with me, I'm always scared of being more active. It's a double-edged sword. Right. If I do too much, then I end up in the bed because I did too much. But if I do just enough, it's actually really, really good for me. But finding that Yeah, plus you're, line, not, a, you're not a halfway type of I'm an all or nothing type <laughs> girl. If I'm going to work out, I am going to go until I drop. That's how I've always everything. been. That's how I am with everything. Yeah. That's why this whole, like... Even this YouTube thing, like, I want my videos to be perfect, and I know they're not near perfect, but I spend a lot of time editing because I'm a perfectionist, and I, like, take out the ums, or I take out an extra breath, or a sniffle, or, like, I, 
I work really hard to try and make them look as good as possible and I have a feeling I could probably edit half the amount and y'all would like it just as much. But that's just who I am. Yeah, definitely. So like when I edit a food prep video, if it takes us two hours to film it, it's probably going to take me eight hours to edit it. And that, that's not a joke. <laughs> that's, that's for real, y'all. Yeah. It's a lot of work. But I don't even know how I'm going to do that. Okay, so what's the plan for next week? We've been on here for a while. What's the plan for next week? What are I we going to do differently? Keep, keep doing the keto. Um, keep, keep, keep to the, to the um, good foods. And I think, I, I'm hoping that my more routine schedule will, will put me back into what I want to be at. I'm going to do the coffee during the school day. And then try to do the two meals like I've been doing um, throughout the year. And then, like I said, I'd like to, I, I don't know if I should, I, I really do want to add some activity. And I'd like it to be, but I'm, a, I'm not a go out and run type of guy. Like I'd rather, much rather run on a treadmill than run yeah. outside. So that's where I'm struggling to find something. But I got to get active somehow. I got to figure out a way to get yeah, active. Yeah, well, also you're used to almost the entire year coaching. And coaching oh, yeah. doesn't mean standing on the sidelines. Like you run with your girls and yeah, yeah. or whoever you're coaching. Like yeah. you're very active. Yeah. And right now is supposed to be high school soccer season. <laughs> he should be coaching every single day right now. So he's just... He's not someone who's used to inactivity. He stands up the entire day long and paces while he teaches, and then he runs on the soccer field for two hours at least. So it is a huge right. change. And it's not for like you. it's like huge cardio, but, no, but I it's really something. do think it, it has impacted yeah. it. I bet your steps would be so high. Yeah. Yeah. Where now they're like a thousand right. from if just that. puttering around the if house. That. <laughs> so that's a big change for him. For me, not a big change. I don't get a lot in, and I know that's not a good thing. But I, none of my weight loss has been based on exercise. I, I, it just hasn't. That's just the truth. Yeah. But I know it would be good for me to get a little bit more. I think for me, adding yoga would probably be good because it's an easy not easy yoga can be pretty tough actually but easier on your body it's slow movements and slow changes so it yeah. would be easier on my body if i could maybe add in something like that not for weight loss like for me when we talk about sticking to keto and sticking to exercise it's to feel better for him it's weight loss right now there's different reasons for doing keto it can be both but the main reason for me is to get my health as good as possible. And if weight loss comes with some of that, yay. But it's not my goal. My goal is to get my health to be as good as it can be. So I guess that's where we are this week. I've been, I sat down this week and, or I sat down last night and meal planned and got some stuff together. So we'll be doing a, a decent sized meal prep so that we'll have things to reach for because I really really do think that's another huge oh, yeah. part yeah. is if you have good substantial choices that are filling not just tiny little junk snacks right. but really good filling choices sitting in the fridge to reach for then you're gonna have more success on a keto journey so that's a big part of what we do. We had taken that out even a little bit during this time and added it back last week, and I'm really glad that we did. So we'll be continuing with that. Yep. So uh, that is what's up with us. We will talk with y'all throughout the week, and then we'll check in next Monday for another sit down and see how we're doing on keto. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye. Have a super blessed week.